How's it going everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to attend Vernon Comic Con which is being held at the Vernon Rec Center which I'm going to attend my first time so I'm going to get some uh, aerial footage so uh, we're not that far down from that I just thought I would start here and work my way up so hope you guys enjoy and uh, so yeah, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day Hope to find out what this uh, event is all about. All right, so as you can see, we're here, and this is quite the lineup. But I was given a tip on how to sort of uh, bypass all this. So let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's see where my luck gets me with this part. <laughs> I would have brought my uh, own thing, but unfortunately, I have limited uh, storage capacity. So. I'm bringing with me what I've uh, got with me. I don't want to be too over encumbered. So. Okay. Well, let's go find a parking, which we both know as a cyclist is not a problem around here. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay, well, as a cyclist, we both know parking is not an issue, so I'm going to park right here. Alright guys, I'm going to do some aerial footage around here, so we'll see you up in the skies, and then we'll see you in POV going down there.
Alright everyone, well I hope you guys enjoyed my footage of the Vernon Comic Con, my first time attending. Unfortunately I wasn't wanting to stay for very long because it was getting very heated inside like in terms of uh, body temperature. Um, I got some footage, not all, but uh, I've still yet to get some exterior footage so that's where the exiting part begins and uh, me going back home will follow shortly after. But yeah, there was uh, a lot of people in there and uh, obviously because of the kind of uh, event it is but uh, definitely hard to breathe unless you're in an area that's well air conditioned otherwise it's a difficult time to breathe and uh, when everybody's uh, body heat and temperature and breathing in the same area heats up an area it is kind of difficult to stay in one spot for long periods of time so I figured I would um, figured I would uh, take some time and kind of show how long this lineup is which I think should be narrowing down by now but uh, give me one moment I gotta throw my gloves on here all right now we're ready to ride so let's get this thing fired up see how many more people have yet to get into the entrance which yeah is slowly diminishing Whew. Oh yeah, we're getting down to it. <sighs> okay. Still quite the lineup. Okay. Well, I think that about does my visit for here. I'm gonna go get some lunch and then head her on home. So I'll take you guys along for the ride of where I go to get lunch at. So uh, enjoy the ride in the meantime. You know, the shameful part is during this whole ride, I haven't even decided what I, I was wanting to eat yet. So, let's take this advantage of speed up. You know what? Something's gotta give. I gotta have something to eat. What would that be? I still don't know. <sighs> okay. Let's uh, kind of have a, a back leaning view and do a, no, not an eating, meeting, money, mo because there'll only be one outcome. So, let's find out here what I want to eat. Hmm. A&W, Subway, don't got really any coupons for that, and I don't know what kind of exclusive deals I've got through the app. 
you know what? I'm not gonna torture you guys with this uh, dilemma of mine. So I'll catch you guys when I finally made a decision. All right, so I settled with Subway. I finally made my decision and now to wait. I don't know what to do in the meantime, so I guess I'll just do a huge time cut from here. Oh, oh what to do? All right, you know what? Maybe I'll just do a quick, uh, quick cut here. Alright guys, so now we're on the final stretch of my journey. I also just want to take this moment in time to update you guys on the uh, status of my other bike compared to this one. I will be having my other bike up and going by probably middle towards the end of this month, which I'm super excited about. Um, unfortunately, the kit that I was dealing with at the time just was giving me too much to work with and uh, I was tired of gambling with what it could be. Last time I heard it was like the, sol uh, the hall sensor that went and overheated and I'm just tired of gambling with it so I just sold a, a, my entire kit to my buddy. So I'm going to order myself a whole new setup. I love having the best of both worlds. So uh, we got the daredevil here. He doesn't even have any brakes, I don't think. People have to stop with their feet like that. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought I would uh, enjoy this ride while I can. So if you guys did enjoy today's video in any capacity, feel free to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whichever you feel it deserves. And feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on a single video. And I will see you guys later. And if I don't end up uploading it's because I'm waiting to get my kit set up for my other bike so but I'll try and get some ideas set up for sooner future videos rather than just waiting for that one hope you guys have a great rest of your day or evening wherever you're watching me from and I'll catch you guys next time peace